Hey guys, so I'm going to look at Samurai Jack, the Amulet of Time for the Game Boy Advance. So on the front cover here we have this uh, pretty cool image of Samurai Jack uh, holding the Amulet of Time down there and uh, fighting a few of Aku's soldiers in a... Uh, I don't really know where it is, some kind of futuristic city I think. Uh, as you can see by the G8 Plus down there, it's the Australian version but as you can see by the USK down there, it's all it is is a G8 Plus sticker over the European version that we imported. So, uh, yeah, a bit lazy there. Uh, as you can see up here too, I got it for $80 on release. And uh, we've got all these Target stickers. But for some reason, Target love to cover their games in ridiculous numbers of stickers back here. So, uh, yeah. So up here we have a cool picture of uh, Jack, and another image down there, only a tiny one though, and another one there. On the back we have uh, the same shot of Jack up there, uh, we have a coup down there, and we just get a tiny little description. It says, help Samurai and Jack find the missing pieces of a mysterious amulet that will allow him to defeat the evil shape-shifting wizard Aku and save the world from his evil. And then we get our screenshots. So as you can see, the uh, game's graphics actually did a pretty good job of replicating the style of the TV show. Uh, and down here, strangely enough, it actually says game in English only. Even though on over here we have... Uh, you know, French and Spanish and all these different things. It, uh, the game itself is only in English, so I don't really know why they bothered. But anyway, uh, it was made by BAM Entertainment and distributed by Acclaim. BAM, I'm pretty sure, are not uh, still going. So, yeah, this game wasn't of particularly good quality. It had a lot of good ideas and the graphical style was nice but uh, the design itself was actually pretty abysmal. Uh, let's see, I've got this little you know, warning booklet, repetitive strain warnings and battery precautions and warnings. Yeah, the usual stuff, nothing interesting. And we have the uh, manual for the game. So on the front it just uses the uh, yeah, front cover. As you might be able to see there, the sword is covered in black. For some reason, I scrolled over it in a uh, messy black pen to make it look like he'd uh, you know, cut through a guy and the oil was coming off his sword and onto his hand and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I imagine I was just bored. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you may notice that this manual is pretty thick. That's just because it's in all those different languages that we saw on the back of the box. Uh, the entire manual is just in black and white. There's very little artwork. There's that, that, and I think, uh, yeah, a coup there. And aside from that, there's not really any artwork. It just takes you through the uh, motions as usual. Um, oh, there's another one. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty dull manual overall. As you can see. Well, yeah, there, there are a few pieces of artwork from the show. Personally, uh, Samurai Jack is one of my all-time favourite uh, animated series, and so and I particularly loved it when I was a kid, of course, so I uh, jumped on the chance to get a Samurai Jack game at the time, and uh, yeah, I was pretty disappointed. As I say, the, des the design just wasn't good at all. But anyway, so... I can't actually show you the cartridge because, uh, like a few of my Game Boy Advance games, I traded this one in. But uh, yeah, so that is your look at Samurai Jack, the Amulet of Time for Game Boy Advance. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you later.